Hello and welcome. Welcome to uh, speech writing. This is part of Learning English Online, which is Leo, and we're going to get started in a couple of more seconds in this live online class that is taking place on WizIQ. Leo has been going on for a number of years. It's a way to make learners independent. And hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to today's session. This is one of many sessions. It's a live online class where participants do not need to come because uh, the recordings is available in the courseware, which is part of a WizIQ course management system on WizIQ. So this is Leo, Learn English Online. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to be facilitating this live online class. If you have any questions, you'll be able to add them to the chat at the end. So let's get started. Today is assignment number four, and that's speech writing. We've gone through a few assignments, and I'm going to review them. They're all part of Google Drive where you can share your work with me, the other participants of the course, the LEO course, and with others from around the globe and get help or just share your wonderful work. So we started out with assignment number one, and that was for you to choose a topic for your speech. Now this is a step-by-step -step development and there are lots of topics you can choose from but I'm sure you have your own special topic that you would like to research. And the way we started was for you to first of all create a KWHL chart for your topic. And the chart outlines, first of all, what do you know about the topic? So you can have a few topics and create a KWHL for each of the topics. Next, want. What do you want to know about this particular topic? The next column is, how will you get the information? And the final column is, what did you learn? Now, if you don't want to know anything about a topic, don't choose it. Okay, so go through different topics and see if there's something you would want to know. Next, I asked you to make a list of topics of interest and your purpose. Why do you want to research this topic? One of the reasons could be that you want to learn more about certain things. Now, let me just screen share and take you to the live online websites where you can actually share these things. Okay, so let me just um, activate so I can share the screen with you. And I see that it's not working for some reason. I guess I don't have the Java necessary for this. So, um, I'm going to have to forget about screen sharing through the uh, WizIQ live class, but I'm going to screen share nonetheless through my screencast. Okay, so you'll be able to get this on YouTube. All right, so first of all, let's start with the Leo course. Okay, Learn English Online is a course and I'll share the link with you for anyone who wants to join the course. And I'm going to add it to the 
class. Okay, so I'm going to add different things to the chat box. You'll be able to copy the chat box at the end, or if you're reviewing this uh, recordings, you'll be able to just click on each of the links that I add. Okay, so that's the course. And the course has different parts that I'd like to take you through. There's the course feed, okay, where you're able to respond and start your own discussion forums. And I have started a few discussion forums, and I'm looking forward to your comments and questions in the discussion forums. So check out the course feed. Next, I suggest you check out the courseware. The courseware is you will be able to get all the content that I have added. And that means the PowerPoint presentations, the YouTube videos, the um, live online classes and recordings and so on. So check the courseware. You are also invited to check the other learners. There are over 400 learners, so you can also connect with them. In addition, you can also learn about the course, the course highlights, and the organization of the course. And the course goes like this. In weeks one to four, participants engage in reading and listening practice. In weeks five to eight, participants engage in grammar and develop communicative language skills, such as speaking and writing. And in weeks nine to 12, participants engage in sharing their work online and developing networking practice. And this is what we're doing right now. So we're near the end of this particular course, but the course is cyclic, which means that it is ongoing and will continue. All right, so let's take a look at the topics of interest. Okay, let me get the link for you for the topics of interest so that you can access this online. All right, so here is the link to the topics of interest where you can add your topic and get comments from me and from others around the world. All right, next is the KWHL, where you can actually copy this and write your topic and topics, okay? So here you can start with the topics. What do I know about the topic? And you can do this for each topic. You can copy this by going into File and make a copy so that you have your own copy and you can only share it with me. Or just work on it and then share the link with the others on WizIQ in the course feed. Okay, again, that's the course feed. So here is the link to the KWHL. All right, so let's continue. All right, once you uh, decide on a topic, you're going to write your speech. And this is how you're going to do it on Google Drive. You need a Gmail account for this, so get your Gmail account if you don't already have one. And this is what you do. You create a text document and you give it a name in number one. And number two, you write your speech. Now let me show you this in a Google Drive. So I'm going to go to a Google Drive so I can share this with you. So let me look for, here's my Google Drive. I'm going to go into Create. Okay, here's Create. And then I'm going to go into the document. There, create a document. And then I'll have to give it a name. Okay, so I'll go into Untitled, give it a name. I'll just write Topic for now. Okay, Topic. And then I'll start writing my speech. Okay, speech, and I'll help you with that in a moment. And then I'll just go on and share it at the top right. Click on share, and then I can share it. I can make it private and share it with the people that I want, or I can make it public. So if I want to make it private, I'll share it with Nelly. And my email is nellydeutsch at gmail.com. 
okay so you can and make sure that I have edit rights and then what you need to do is to share it click on share and save and that's it okay so let's continue here this is how it's done next okay let's continue with the slide so that's how you do it next All right, so this is slide, let me just make sure, slide number eight. And you can get this, uh, all these slides and everything. Let me uh, share that with you. Here is the link to the slides that you see. And then you can click on the images and get the links. So if you click on planning a speech, now speech tips, this is really, really important, okay? Because you want to plan your speech write your speech and then prepare to make a speech so this week you're going to do two things and let me get a color here you're going to plan your speech and you're going to write your speech next week you're going to prepare to make a speech okay so you're going to actually make the speech next week okay so that's really exciting all right so where can you get this link let me share the link with you it's called speech tips okay and here is the link to there's the website the link to speech okay i'm adding all the links to the chat box all right and you'll get lots of great ideas on how to write your speech another place where you can get great ideas for your speech is from the bbc yes the bbc has a wonderful website where they will provide you with help on how to write your speech and here is the link to that remember this is learn english online but in order to learn you have to become a learner and you have to be active you have to do things you can't learn just by listening you have to do something if you want to improve your writing you have to write if you want to improve your speaking you have to speak and if you want to improve your reading you have to read and that's what it's all about you have to do something and that's what you're going to do now let's just go over a little bit of what you're going to do you're going to learn how to write a speech in order to learn, you have to read about it and then write. But don't be afraid to write. Create a Google document and start writing. Before you wrote, you research the topic. So if you haven't completed your research, do your research. Next, you have to know your audience. Who is your audience? Who are you going to speak to? What are their ages? Where do they live? Okay, this is really important. So research your audience. And then you're going to send a message. What is the message of your speech? What is the point? Why are you speaking? Next, you're going to come up with an opening. An opening could be a question. Research and find out what is an effective opening? And finally, you're going to write an effective closing, something that makes your audience think and want to come back and listen to you over and over again. Okay, so you'll be doing that this week. Next. is a place where if you don't want to use your voice, you can create a speech, put it on a PowerPoint presentation, and let a machine, a computer speak for you. And this is my dear friend, John Graves, who's a doctoral student in Australia. He's an American, but he's studying in Aus and living in Australia. He created something called slide speech. And you can do this from your Android, your mobile phone. 
It's called Slide Speech. And let me take you and give you the link to Slide Speech. And this is completely free. Everything I've shown you is completely free. And this is Slide Speech. I suggest you sign up online. Here is the link to Slide Speech so you can start seeing how it works. And it's really exciting because John has created an amazing opportunity for everyone to use another voice if you don't like your voice. So you just write your speech and the computer, a voice will speak your speech. You can add, you don't have to create a PowerPoint presentation, you can just add the words of your speech to slide speech and then you'll hear it. And that's it. Okay, so thank you. And now I'm going to take questions. If there are any questions, please let me know. All right, so I'm going to open up the um, chat so you can copy the chat and let me know once you copy the chat. Okay, so let me know if you've copied the chat so you can do that. Give me a thumbs up if you have copied the chat. I'll give you a few seconds and then I'm going to post this YouTube video in the course for everyone to view. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Bye for now.